Hey YouTube, TJR Productions here. Do another uh, Digitrax Zephyr tutorial. Um, in this video, we are going to create. Uh, we're going to be using the jump ports to use a smooth DC power pack as an additional throttle. Let's get started. All we're going to need for this to work is our Zephyr system, our DC power pack, we're going to need some pliers to where we can cut wire, wire strippers, and a screwdriver to work the back of the Zephyr system to connect the wires as well as the side of these. First things first, I lost it. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, we are going to connect wire from here to here. So I'm just going to take, I don't need a whole lot, just a little bit here to maybe here. That's all I need because they're just going to be close together. And just cut these off and figure out where they fell. Just like that. Good starting point. Next, take our wire strippers and I'm just gonna pull a little bit off. Don't need a whole lot, just enough to expose the contacts. That'll work. This end can go in the Zephyr system and in the DC power pack. I'm going to expose just a little bit more because I like to wrap it around the screws. Or not even strip this at all. Come on. Just get really touchy. You gotta like pinch it. And even then, it doesn't always work. You suck. There we go. Probably a little more than I need, but we have our stripped wires on both ends. Next thing I'm going to do is attach them into the DC system. And I don't believe, it didn't say it mattered which was which, so as long as you put the wires into the right system, into the right ports in the Zephyr system. Shouldn't have any problems. Use my pliers and wrap this around so it makes a good contact. Put that in like so. Reach for my screwdriver because I'm an unorganized idiot. Tighten that up nice and snug. And same thing with the white one. Wrap this around and hook it in there. Tighten her up. All right. So next, we're going to plug her into the Zephyr system. All that needs to happen. This one wire needs to go to your jump port, and the other needs to go to the ground. Um, I only have one DC throttle, so I'm just going to use jump one, but you can do two of them. You'll just still have to run the other one into jump two, as well as ground both of them to ground. The wire to bend. Awfully short. I guess I could have, could have, should have made it a little bit longer, but I didn't, so I don't care. So the red one's going in the ground. Again, it doesn't matter as long as you get one in one, one in the other. Get those nice and snug. Got wires galore over here. So now that we have our wires hooked up, 
I'll go ahead and plug in Zephyr. Starts up like so. The usual. I'm trying to get these wires out of my way here. Okay. So to control a train, basically all we have to do is hit jump and we'll enter the loco address like you would normally. The only difference is we have this jump light and we'll hit loco. And we'll hit power and we can see, well I guess you can't yet. I hit jump again, it takes me back here. You can control all your functions from here, so you can see 5624 is back to being controlled here. And I've made sure the headlights are appropriate. I'm gonna get rid of this one so I don't have control. And again, you hit jump and loco enter the address hit loco again and it is now in control with this it's MU'd prior with 9580 as you can see but both are controlled here you flip the direction switch they move backwards so now I can hit jump and it takes me back out of this. You see the jump light has went away. And I can just enter in another address and control this train completely. Whoops. That's problematic. So I can control that train when it works. And just send him back around while with the Zephyr system I actually can control separately now I have control completely over two trains at the same time without having to switch back and forth so if you happen to hold on to your DC system you have control over two trains separately, yet still at the same time. So I think that's really cool. Um, I'm hoping to have a friend of mine over on Monday who has DC locomotives, or sorry, DCC equipped locomotives. Um, and so we'll be able to run separately in a very tiny space regardless but he can control his trains and I can control mine functions I don't have on the DC um, it listed something about those uh, See what it says here real quick. Fell off. So again, press the jump key to view jump one. If you have a second one hooked up, um, as you can see, I'll just show you down here. Looking right here, press the jump key to view jump one. If you have a second jump hooked up, it'll flash. The jump light will flash. 
Um, and if you hit it again, the jump light goes away, you're back at your local throttle, which is just the Zephyr system. Um, so to run an address, you hit the jump key, the jump light will show up, then you hit the loco button, enter in your address, hit loco, um, and it's that easy. And then, let's see, run an address, pretty much the same thing. Pretty similar to add another Zephyr system. That's kind of where the line stops. I don't know what I was looking for. I opened this up with a purpose. This is the wiring diagram. Um, kind of difficult to see, but both of these, one of the wires goes into jump one, the other in jump two, and then they're both grounded to the same port. Um, so as I have, uh, things in all my all my ports so this is the handy dandy Zephyr uh, starter set manual really handy don't lose it because you never know when you'll need it again the control with this is very smooth as you can see it just like just like it should um, it appears to be matched pretty closely to the, the Zephyr throttle configuration um, in terms of like this is about where the three is pointing straight up. If you look, and it's running about that speed, so really cool. And then when you're done, just again, you hit jump. Um, and if you hit the loco button and hit exit, it'll get rid of that. You can hit the jump and go back and then select it here. And now you will notice that my coal train will move back locally again. So that's how you create a jump port. And also, if you're cheap like I am, Give yourself an extra throttle because you don't want to pay 200 and some odd bucks for a handheld Digitrax throttle, which is going to happen at some point anyways. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Questions, comments, drop them below. Email me if you have questions, anything you want to see, suggestions, I don't know. Plenty of time. I can do it all. So, bye.